Hi everyone, it's me, Miss D. I miss you. Uh, I thought some ways we could still connect is I'm going to try to make some videos and post some things on the art Instagram. And I thought this would be a good one to start with, this book. And normally I have you guys, the kids, help me out as my assistants when we're at school. But since I don't have you here, we're going to have to have this guy over here fill in. His name is Benson. But you could also call him, since I'm Miss D, you can call him Mr. B. And I, he really likes this book, Dog Loves Drawing, by Louise Yates. So we're going to go ahead and read this today. And it's going to make a connection about how we can make some sketchbooks at home. Dog loved books. He loved books so much that he opened his own bookshop. When he wasn't sharing books with others, Dog was reading them himself. One morning, a package arrived. Inside was a book, but as Dog opened it up, he saw to his surprise it had no words and no pictures. How curious, he thought. Just inside the cover, he noticed a message from his Aunt Dora that read, to my dearest dog, may the lines you draw open a door to some wonderful adventures. With love, from your Aunt Dora. It was a sketchbook. Dog knew exactly what to do. He pulled out his pens, laid out his brushes, sharpened his pencils, took a deep breath, and drew a door. He stepped through the door, and on the empty page in front of him, Dog drew a stick man. Hello, said the stick man. Hello, said Dog. I'm not sure what else to draw. Let's doodle, suggested the stick man. That's the best way to come up with ideas. So that's what they did. They turned the page together. It would be even more fun if there were others to join in, said Dog. So Dog drew a duck, and the duck drew an owl, and the owl drew a crab, and the crab did some coloring in. Soon they were all spilling onto the next page. What now, they wondered. Let's go on an outing, hooted the owl. So Dog drew a train, and they all climbed aboard. While the duck was arguing with the others about who should drive, the stick man drew himself a driver's hat and scribbled some steam. And they were off. The scenery streaked past them. They were traveling so fast. At last, the stick man drew the train to a stop. Dog got out and drew a boat while Crab scribbled some sea. They climbed aboard, all except the crab, who clung onto the side. The stick man drew some sandwiches because he was very hungry. The owl copied the sandwiches because she was hungry too. And the duck drew an enormous cake because he was the hungriest of them all. Dog colored in a cloudless sky and they drifted. And the boat drifted a long way before land appeared. They all got out and stretched their legs. The crab drew a parcel to protect themselves from the sun, and the duck decided to draw a monster. And that spoiled everything. The monster chased them all the way around the island and onto the next page. Then Dog had a brilliant idea. He quickly drew a door and let through it. And on the other side, he found himself back in the bookshop. He turned to the last page of his sketchbook and made sure that all of his friends were safe and the monster could not escape. <laughs> then he dashed out to buy some more paper. Dog loves drawing. And the very next thing he drew was a thank you card for his Aunt Dora. The end. All right, we finished. Benson, was that a good book? High five is a good book? Good, okay, you liked it. All right.